That's a great question. Um, new words to us that we never had growing up, disinformation and misinformation. I just grew up with lies, uh, truth and a lie. Uh, but <laughs> now we've got all kinds of nuanced approaches to it. And um, we need to recognize that we live in a social media world where we have a million different voices coming at us. Everything has an agenda. It just does. I think it's one of the reasons why a lot of younger generations are just uh, jaded and a little cynical uh, about things because they've been inundated. It's why they're anxious because we're constantly put on the spot and assaulted with ideas and uh, we don't know how to process it. We know that it's gonna lead to conflict or division and that's the world that we live in for better or for worse. And unfortunately what that means is uh, on face value, you can't trust most things the first time. Uh, I would encourage everybody. Everybody needs to be, edu everybody needs to be learners. We need to, we need to, as hard as it is, we need to pull ourselves out of the algorithm. Because the algorithm on social media platforms and even uh, outlets, media outlets, is figuring out what they want us and what we want. And so they're, we're in this feedback loop. And uh, another word for misinformation and disinformation is propaganda. I mean, that's what, that's what it boils down to. And propaganda is as old as, as human beings are. We put a slant. We tell it with a slant. Everything's got a little slant. And I would encourage you to go back to source material as much as you can. Read broadly. Um, it's no mistake. It's, it's no secret. I'm conservative. I just, my political leanings and even my, uh, be, my belief systems is I'm conservative. But uh, when I read the news, like I'll watch the news, but I read the New York Times, uh, I read uh, Axios and things that lean left. And the reason why I do that is, is I want to counterbalance, I want to read the opposing argument to things and, and I want to see what, maybe I'm missing something. And I would encourage you to uh, be careful, be broad, but also if you really want to be a student, you got to get to the root sources of things. You got to study below the surface Really figure out um, what things are important, what things are valuable to you, and constantly be seeing through the filter of, okay, what's the angle? Why are they, why is this being communicated? What's the angle? What's the agenda? And the thing that I would encourage you, because you can spend 20 hours a day trying to get a grip on what's reality, uh, but, and I know this sounds cliche, but I, I, I have to say it anyways, we have to have this as the foundation of our life. This is truth. This, there's no misinformation. We need this. We need kingdom vision values that come out of this to be the foundation by which we view everything else. And we need to be learners. We need to be able to adjust and learn. I'm grateful that we live in a society where you can have free speech. Even when there is misinformation and disinformation and opposing ideas. Uh, I think we are better because everybody can express their ideas, whether we agree with them or not, whether uh, it uh, offends us or not. I'm not for shutting down dissent and shutting down arguments or shutting down differing opinions. I think we ought to have more of it. Uh, I think we get in danger when we become myopic. And so I think to, to this question, we need to recognize that truth isn't going to be found out there. Truth is going to be found here. Uh, and this has to be our primary thing that we're leaning into. And then everything else is informed because of that.